What's up, YouTube? White Horse here. Gonna bring you guys a September 1st, um, 2013 OCG official ban list. Um, sorry I couldn't get a picture up. I don't really do all that. I just do sort of, I guess you could say, regular videos uh, from my phone. But what we got here is um, I got a piece of paper in front of me. So uh, if I look down, that's what I'm reading from. It's got all the band, limited, semi-limited, unlimited cards on it for this uh, next format's band list. So <clears throat> let's start off with band. Um, Burner, Stream, Reactin, Lightning, and Spellbook of the Judgment. Um, for you all who don't know who the first four are, Burner, Stream, Reactin, and Lightning, those are the baby forms of Dragon Rollers. And, um, in my opinion, they were pretty good in that deck. I didn't really feel like they would actually hit those. I just felt, honestly, that they would ban Rejuvenation and that would be it. But, clearly, that wasn't enough. So, I guess they did this for a reason. Um, banning the, um, Baby Dragons. But, you know, I mean, it's cool. I guess they're literally going to put it into Dragons, um, which would be nice. Honestly, because I feel like dragons and spellbooks, um, pretty much, pretty much in the same format are just not really that cool. Which was this format? Too fast. I mean, we can all agree on that. Um, and spellbook of the judgment. As again, they hit this card to destroy the deck. Um, literally, this was only the consistent card in the deck because all that shit was out. I guess. I don't think anything else came out when Tachyon came out, except for Judgment. That was really, really, really that broken for Spellbooks. Um, sure, they got Fate. Sure, they got, you know, Grand Tower and Abyss Rise. And sure, they got Fate later on. Or, yeah, I think it was later on. Who cares? I mean, the deck's pretty much dead now. You have nothing. I mean... You can't add three cards from your deck to your hand and special summon a Jalgen and win against Dragon Rollers. You're not going to do that anymore because they, you know why? Because they're destroying that. That's why. And that's a good thing. I think, you know, this is a good hit. And I agree with this. So, uh, <clears throat> off on the band, let's move on to the limited cards. These are cards that are at one. Just in case all of you, you know, didn't know. Um, Birdman. Um, I don't know why they would ban a rapper. Uh, he's... <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, Birdman. Gen X ally Birdman. Um, <clears throat> so... I don't really know why they hit this. It had to be for a reason, though. I mean, it... There's just no reason they're gonna all out just hit this to one without a purpose. Um, I didn't really think this was really that big of a problem index but I guess it is so uh, maybe heretics probably but I could see uh, <clears throat> I could see you know Birdman probably coming back later in the future I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't plan on it getting staying on the list like this for long um, next up wind up shark everyone right now is so hyped about magician at three but what they don't realize is sharks at one um, what this means is no more, pretty much no more five plays. <clears throat> what you can do, though, keep in mind that you can, you can go, um, if you have Magician Shark in hand, you still can go Magician, Shark, Warrior, or Soldier, whichever one you choose. Um, Soldier and Warrior is pretty much the ones that you use for, if you guys do run this build, um, MX Saber Invoker. Um, you detach one from him and you get a, a level 4 earth warrior type monster from your deck. And you can literally go 1-5 play and have a dead magician, or you can go, um, or you can just, you know, pretty much overlay a shock master, which isn't a bad play, honestly, but, um, you just gotta, you know, do, have some luck and do that, to do that. Um, next up, Mermel Abyss Teus, or Teus, however you want to call him, I call him Teus. Um, some people call him Toos, I don't, anyways, um, Marmel Abysteus, I could understand this, Marmel Abysteus was literally your, your good setup, if you could go, and it don't even matter if you pitch Dragoons, Marksmen, Infantry, to get that extra plus in, 
this card alone was like your your play for a seven. Like you would you would discard for Memorialibus Teus and you would grab that land and you would set that land and you would set a back row, even if it is spear, who cares? Pass. That's literally your play. They destroy land, you get mega lower lead, next turn, hey, look what you got, a Gaios. Or you could activate that spear that you set to get a mega low from deck, then use it to overlay for next seed summon. And, you know, you could have got a pike from land being destroyed, or whatever. That is, if your Teus doesn't get destroyed, that is the best play I've literally seen in that deck, besides, uh, you know, mega low diva. Um, tag them for exact game. Um, you know, that's pretty good. So, next up, Rooster. Um, Brotherhood of the Firefish Rooster. Why? That's what I want to know is why. Um, this card literally just came out like two weeks ago. And, um, yeah, it's already hit. So I guess, I guess if it is out in the OCG, which I'm pretty sure it is because they like get stuff before us and we get, I guess we get stuff before them. Um, this card's been dominating for what I've been hearing in the OCG. So I guess that's the reason. Um, next, Big Eye. I could see this. I've seen this coming. Um, three change of heart is not fair in the game, honestly. And right now, level sevens are off the walls with dragons, mermels. Um, you guys can think of other stuff. Uh, machinas or machinas. Um, you guys can trust me. There's other decks that run a lot of sevens. Oh, um, harpies. Oh my god, harpies pet dragon. Um, next we have Trish Trishula. Another why. Um, I don't see why they brought this back. I guess it was just to bring Trish back. This card was not really the, that big of a problem. Like, everybody was so hyped when it came out. Just because, like, if you got it out, a lot of people said you win. Um, not necessarily you don't win. You just get a lot of pluses. Um, which could lead you into winning. I can understand that. But it, it wouldn't really let you win the game. So... Um, next, Super Rejuvenation, or at least now it might not let you win the game, I'm sorry. Next, Super Rejuvenation, i seen this card getting hit, um, you know, banned, but it, it got hit to one. Uh, Understandable Dragons. Next, Divine Wind of the Mist Valley. Um, I understand this because of the Harpy OTK, which I have not taken the time to look at, and um, so I'm not really worried about that or caring about that. So, Abyss Spear is at one. Uh, this sucks. I'm probably not going to play more mills next format. Um, this is terrible. No more spear lend plays. That yeah, sucks. It's just terrible. Next, semi-limited. Um, here's an interesting one. Chaos Sorcerer. This is pretty cool because I, I could see um, some more people playing Chaos Dragons um, with two Chaos Sorcerer and a BLS. That would be, you know, pretty interesting. Even though, like, Radium or or um, Red Eyes Metal Dragon is at one. I call him Ready M. Um, Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon, I believe is his name. Uh, yeah, he's at one, so it might be a little slow. Um, Gladiator Beast Best Yard. Wow. I love you. Um, this has got to be probably the best thing they've done in so long. Glads are dead. Now they're going to be like, they're not going to be broken, but they're going to be popping a lot more. And I could see this format. The reason why I could see this, why they brought it to, is because this is going to be a really slow format. They are slowing the format format down tremendously. Is what what a lot of people don't understand. They are slowing this format down to make their money and and I guess I guess just let people have fun like we used to, because a lot of people's been cl been complaining. Ugh, can't talk. Um, been complaining that the game isn't fun, and I wouldn't go as far as that that it's not fun anymore, like, period, but I would say it isn't as fun as it used to be. And I dropped my pen, I'm not going to worry about it. Um, next on the list, we have Neospatian Grammel. Why? Uh, this card is annoying. I hate Grammel. I would side it, but I would not main it. Um, I would not side two, I'd still side one. One is annoying enough, two is just ridiculous. Um, next, Gores. <sighs> Oh my god. No one is going to be attacking anybody directly anymore. Because um, either they have... Now that you can play something else, that's at 3. I won't say but what it is until later. But, um, yeah, you can drop Gorge and pretty much win. So, sucks. Um, next, we have Tinky at 2. Um, they sort of destroyed Firefist. 
and other decks like um, Fire Kings, uh, regular Fire Fist, Three Axis, um, even some Glads run it. Uh, just different stuff, really. But yeah, that was a hard hit for Fire Fist. Black Whirlwind is that too. Thank you, God. Thank you. I'm a Blackwing player myself. I love Blackwings. I started the game playing them, and it's going to be tremendous playing two in the deck. It's going to be a lot easier to draw, and it's just going to be really fun. Uh, next, <clears throat> that was it for the Simmon Limited. Going on to the Unlimited, and this is cards that are at three and no longer on the list. So, Wind Up Magician, wow. Um, yeah, so you can run three Magician now, and that's ridiculous. Um, a lot of Wind Up players, what they don't realize is they can do a lot more plays, but I don't think what they realize is they can do as good of plays as they could when Shark was at three. The reason why I say this is because you could go literally three to four fives in a duel with Wind Up Shark being at three. But now, can't. Now it's just like, hey, you can do one five play and all the four plays you want. When really, if you're going to do a really big four play, um, XYZ four play, overlay for, you know, three fours is what I'm trying to say. Shaq Daddy's your man. Uh, if, if you guys don't know who that is, that's Shockmaster. Detach one, call a card. They can't use it until your next turn. Uh, so that's broken. Next, Sukiyomi. I'm not even going to talk about this. It sucks. Uh, E-Emergency Call. Why? Um, I don't even know why this card even got put to two. But, um, I mean, it's cool, I guess. I like it, you know. Heroes are coming back. Um, Advanced Ritual Art. I don't even know what that card is. I don't know what it does. Um, apparently it was good to where it was hit to one last format. Now it's not, um, I guess is good anymore, so... They're probably, probably the thing that they were going to do last format with it, the reason why they hit it so bad is because it was going to do something stupid this format, and, but instead of, you know, this format, maybe they could let them, you know, do whatever it was supposed to do last format, the next format, which is going to be September 1st. Next, at three, uh, Pot of Duality. Everybody is going to be, like, pretty much flipping out. Everybody's going to activate. You will never, I don't think you'll ever have a bad hand. Because you either draw really good or dualities to get out of the bad hands. Um, next, Scapegoat. A lot of people will like that Scapegoat's at three. I don't really care. Uh, that's just a lot of tokens is all I got to say. I don't really care about Scapegoat. But I do like to see people on YouTube posting games of goat format. And uh, that's, that's you know, that's interesting. Next, Reasoning. Don't know what it does. Don't know what it, you know, don't even know what it is. So, um, you're going to skip that one. Don't really care. Next, uh, Mirror Force, which is the last on the list. Mirror Force is at three. There will be no more direct attacks. There will be no more OTKs because you're either going to have Mirror Forces that you're going to run into or you are going to have Literally or you are going to have Gorses. Um, so that's just, you know, that's ridiculous. This game is going to be slowed down, but it's going to be fun as hell. Um... When when the uh, special ruling comes out, I don't know if any of you's heard about that. The special ruling, um, what I want it to be is the deck to be at 50. That'd be cool. I'd like that. Um, that would be, it would slow the game down even more and it would make it more skill based in my opinion and it would make it more fun. And a lot of people wouldn't be quitting. A lot of people would probably be starting back and be like, okay, now it's sort of like magic. It's really slow, but like, it doesn't like cycle out like magic does. But anyways... I wanted to make this video, um, I'm a little late, I'm sorry about that, been busy with school, just started back yesterday, um, which is going good by the way, in case any of you were wondering. Um, <laughs> I was uh, just, you know, wanting to catch up and um, do this video for you guys, and uh, I guess until this weekend, this weekend's also uh, regional, so I'm going to do some videos for you guys when I get there. Um, I'm not going to do a road to regionals because... I sort of have some school stuff going on I got to deal with, so I won't really have time. But um, but yeah, you know, you guys um, you guys will enjoy it. I think I'm gonna be at Gamescape taking videos and stuff. So yeah, um, I really don't have anything else to say. So until next time, guys, this is Wahoo Sun out. Peace.